In this video, we'll look at joining and linking tables in ClickView. In ClickView, we use join load to add new columns from one table into another using matching key columns. The key columns are defined implicitly. So all the columns with the same names that belong to both tables are considered join keys and thus they will be matched. Now, if you're familiar with SQL or SQL, join can be qualified as outer, inner, left, or right. The table listed first is considered to be the left table and the other table is considered the right table. Well, ClickView is similar. It has an outer join, which is the default, and you can also specify an inner left and right join. In ClickView, the left table is the target and the right table is the source. Also in SQL, the source tables remain unchanged and the results are populated in the result set. In ClickView, however, the results are stored in the left table and even the right table may get modified with an inner join. In SQL, you can also operate with all fields from both joining tables to calculate new fields. In ClickView, since the data from one table, that's the source, is being added to the data in another table, the target, then the only fields that are available at that point are the fields from the source table, but not from the target. So keep this in mind. If you need to do calculations from both tables, then another load statement is necessary. Okay, so let's have a look at some examples of some joins here. Now, an outer join retains rows from both tables they don't necessarily have to match. And if you guessed that that's exactly what kind of join we've got here, then you're right. First, let's open up script editor and see what we're doing here. I'll press control E on my keyboard and I'll open up the script editor. And you can see here that I haven't specified the word outer as join by default is outer. Okay, so let's look at what we're doing. So this first set of statements here what we're doing is we're loading our table, table one. And then in the second statement here, or the second series of statements here, what we're doing is we're joining and we're specifying the target, table one, and then we load table two into that join. Okay, so let's click on OK. And you can see that's exactly what we did here. So the values from both tables, here's table one, and here's table two, and the values from both tables, and you can see that the key ID of one, two, and four has in table two here, one, two, and four, and their values, B1, B2, and B4. Okay, now a left join retains rows from the left table, but only the matching rows from the right table. So let's go and tell ClickView that we want to do a left join. So we'll open up our script editor and we'll load the data again, but this time we'll specify a left join by typing left before join. Click on OK. Now I'm pressing Control R on my keyboard to reload the data. And you can see here that we've included key IDs one, two, and three. And you can see the values from table one, A1, A2, and A3. But you can see only those values from table two with key IDs one and two, which had matching key values. Okay, B's one and two, and B1 and B2. All right, now let's go and do a right join. So a right join then will retain rows from the right table, but only matching rows from the left table. So let's go ahead and we'll type right in front of join here. Click on OK. Now we have to reload our data. And this time, what we'll see is we'll see key IDs 1, 2, and 4. We won't see key ID 3 here because that's in table 1. And again, we're doing a right join. So all of these rows and the data associated with those rows will be included. So we see that here, 1, 2, and 4, and B1, B2, and B4 but only the rows from table one that have matching key values. So one and two, A1, A2, one and two, A1 and A2. All right, now 
let's do an inner join. Now an inner join retains matching rows from both tables. So let's do an inner join. So we'll type inner before join. We'll click on OK, reload. And there we see the key IDs one and two are the only key values that match in both tables. And there are their values in the result set. Okay, so consider this. One of the main features of ClickView is its ability to make associations between tables instead of joining them. And this has a fantastic effect of reducing memory usage, increasing processing speeds, and it just offers great flexibility. Explicit joins should therefore be avoided in ClickView scripts if possible. The keep functionality was designed to reduce the number of cases where you need to use explicit joins. You use the keep prefix the same way that you use join. However, there is one difference. The keep keyword must always be preceded by either inner, left, or right prefixes. The selection of records from the tables is made in the same way as in a corresponding join, however. But keep this in mind. The two tables are not joined. Rather, they'll be stored in ClickView as two separately named tables. So let's go up to the window menu here and I'll select my keep document. And you can see here I've got table one and two and it looks like I've done some kind of keep already. And if you guessed an inner keep, you're exactly right. So let's press control E to open up script editor and we'll see here that we're using inner and instead of join we're using keep this time now the syntax is exactly the same so the layout in both sets of script here is the same except we're using inner keep instead of inner join okay so now let's specify a left keep and with a left keep we should see that table one will have all of its values, but table two only values where the key IDs are matching. And that's exactly what we see. And again, you see that there's two tables here because again, in keep, the two tables are not joined, but stored in click view as two separately named tables. Okay, so let's go and now we'll do a right keep. So we specify right, click OK, reload our data, and we see exactly that. So we see table two, we've got all of its values, one, two, and four, B1, B2, and B4, but table one only has values from rows where the key ID matched. Okay, so in this video, we had a look at joining and linking tables in ClickView.